Doing an apprenticeship in this industry, I'd tell anyone to go for it. 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 Let's go ahead and do it. Go for it. Do it. I've been in the building service industry for 15 years and I saw an opportunity, I wanted to get out of what I was doing, I was a sprinkler fitter and I've been doing it for 15 years and it was becoming repetitive, it was the same thing all the time so I've got the opportunity to go into an apprenticeship which has worked out to be marvellous for me. I decided to do the, an apprenticeship in the industry because it's something that gave me ability. So moving from job to job isn't necessarily something that you want and especially since I personally have just had kids. Something that I need is the ability. The ability to learn and earn. As amazing as it gets, it doesn't get any better than that. Because it's mentally challenging and very practical at the same time. I know a lot of people in this industry. So I did, throughout school I did a lot of work experience which gave me the insight into wanting to do this. I wanted to do an apprenticeship because it interested me and I wanted to follow my dreams. A typical day for me starts at 8 o'clock, ends at 5. So during that day, me being as new as I am, I end up learning more than I ever thought you could cram into those few hours. So I wake up in the morning, do the usual, go to work, do something completely different. It's, it's great. This year I'm doing for my level 3, I'm going to college one day a week. And then next year will be two days a week. And this year it's just a lot of theory, so I'm doing exam based this year. And then next year will be welding and advanced pipe fitting. Usually I'm very ifish about these sort of things so when I'm told I can learn and earn and be happy and there's no downside it just seems amazing. Well, we offer a wide range of services within the building trade. We do, well I'm actually on the pipe fitting side of things, we do pipe fitting, plumbing, heating um, services, we do hot cold water and we're actually doing a bit of duct work at the moment. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of things that we're involved in. It's always different. It's never, one day is never the same as another. Every day is different in terms of jobs. It's always something new, something exciting. Oh, the best aspect is me meeting people, uh, getting to know other people from different services, working with the, alongside them to meet my criteria. I'd have one day that I got to college on the first day where I literally sat down and I've learned all day. But throughout Monday to Friday, I find myself learning anyway. <laughs> so either way, um, one is for the experience, one is for the knowledge and they both work side by side. You get to work with a wide range of people. Not only do you learn your own trade, but you also get to work alongside other people and you learn little bits of other trades along the way. Working on all sorts of different projects from colleges, schools, hospitals and a variety of work. Problem solving, being faced with a problem and finding a solution to overcome it. Working with some materials that I'd never see really, some really expensive things, nice, see the way things work. For me the best aspect of my job is the completion of the job, so when you get it signed off and handed over, because it proves that you've done your job correct and everyone, all the clients and the contractor you work for are happy with what you've done. Enjoy being part of your team. The guys at the work make me feel very welcome. It's constantly changing the refrigeration equipment. It's evolving that quickly that you're working on new stuff all the time. You learn so much that every day is a new day. You don't know what you're going to come up against. I thoroughly enjoy working. Uh, 
the work I get at my work is it's good, it's enjoyable, it's easy to get through and then I enjoy college as well, to be honest with you, and it's good to you know it's good to go out and work and provide a service as well. Being able to tell my son that I do something I'm proud of. Uh, I've moved from job to job to job to job to job. I've worked literally in everything you can think of. But now when I come home, I can put my little helmet on his little head and tell him that I'm doing something. Well, I have to say my greatest achievement was of obviously having my kids. My kids are my greatest achievement, but my greatest achievement with inside myself is managing to go back to college at the age that I am, being 40 years old, which is a great achievement, which I never thought I would do, but I'm, I've got the chance to, and I'm really happy for that. Uh, I'd say my greatest achievement so far is winning uh, service maintenance apprentice of the year for Scotland. Uh, to kind of come for when I'm first and second year, we just wasn't doing too good. Really wasn't achieving to come to this point now, where I'm, like I say, getting an apprentice of the year. And my work doubted me, the college doubted me, but just really kind of powering through second and third year to get to this kind of high point for myself. I think that's my greatest achievement, yeah. Being able to use different software and learning new skills. Jonathan Lansdowne. My proudest moment to date would probably be winning both these awards tonight. Uh, I expected the refrigeration one, but it wasn't 100% on the Apprentice of the Year one, so I'm quite overwhelmed at winning that as well. Probably my proudest moment was coming from school and achieving my English qualification in the, foot, in the Level 2 NVQ. And then obviously completing my NVQ level two at Reading College was a massive achievement. And then being put onto my level three is obviously great as well. One of my greatest achievements was being nominated for the Beza Apprentice of the Year. Um, commissioning grade one, I completed that about a year ago. And also completed my ONC in building services. The section that I'm in uh, provides works and maintenance for schools, care homes, housing and to go do a job there and I mean to get that job finished, to get the heating, hot water, the electricity running, it's really rewarding to actually give something back and I mean they're really chuffed with you and you feel really chuffed with yourself when you've given them something as basic as that but no it's definitely rewarding. The best place that I've visited through my job has been the Old War Museum, some place that I've recently visited over the last week and it's just an amazing thing to see, it's an amazing sight and an amazing place. It just, it just seems like such a privilege to be able to visit it before it goes up. AstraZeneca, just learning how that they work as a company and it provides you with a lot of different systems to work on. A lot of my work has been entailed in the city, so I'd say you see landmarks, seeing beautiful places. Say the job I'm currently at, it's a very big manor something I wouldn't really see and be allowed in normally. Being a female, I, was, I suppose. What surprises other people most about my job is the fact that I have it. As weird as it sounds, um, it's an apprenticeship and it's something that I've been able to get into quite easily. So, three months ago, I wasn't an apprentice. And now everyone's asking me what I do and I'm saying I'm a plumber. It seems like an amazing jump. The materials we use, very high end, they like toilet seats that are worth loads of money. You don't really see it every day. The fact that we're working on multi-million pound projects. Being a plumber, you don't work with toilets every day. There is other aspects to it. One of the biggest surprises is the amount of travel we do. So we can be anywhere across the UK. I've actually got a Red Steel card. This is a trainee card that I'll have to take, take on board. I've got it for five years. For my type of apprenticeship, you just have to be happy enough to learn. And what you would need is to apply for a skill card after you get on the apprenticeship. So it's an apprenticeship card that I currently have. And when I first started, I needed to have a skills card to get onto the building site to show basic health and safety. Certain skills that you need within our industry for problem solving and also a logical way of thinking. Someone that's quite hands-on, good with Solving problems, I say. For my type of role, you need your CSCS card, so your skill card to be able to gain access to site. And then from there, it's mainly your commissioning grades, which will help you progress through the company and make you a better engineer. The most challenging thing about my apprenticeship is actually going back to college and being in a different surrounding to where I haven't been for the last 30 or 30 years. Um, it's very challenging because I'm 
working with other people that are a lot younger than me and I'm the oldest actually in, co in the college so that's a big step so I'm actually trying to help them to better themselves and they help me better myself because they're studying and they've been in that environment for many years so now I'm following their footsteps trying to help them as well. The most challenging thing for me was getting the balance between your work and your college work so make sure one doesn't fall behind the other and you're not putting more effort into one than you are the other. Sometimes now at this point I'm now being put on myself to work so to really go out myself and do everything myself I find that quite challenging but quite good at the same time because it's obviously given me skills for when in a couple of years I'm time served. Rewarding is to know that I'm going to have a place in the heating and ventilation side of things for many years to come. So that's a bit thrilling and that's, that, that makes me excited. And not only that, um, actually being able to help other people. So with me being the first apprentice that has joined Tree Building Services, hopefully there'll be many more. Being able to see the end results and the projects we've been working on. It is a plus plus. There's literally no downside. Uh, you start low, you work your way up, you work your way up, you work your way up, and as my boss will tell you, you can own your own company. After you've done a good day's work, you get to stem back and look at what you've done in that day, and it's just a quite good feeling. The fact that you earn while you learn, but also you're earning a valuable skill for life. It's the handover of the systems that you've completed, so everyone's happy with your work, you're happy with what you've done, and you've witnessed it off to the client. Most important is the satisfaction of the job, going home at night and knowing that you've completed a job. It's giving back. I mean, working for a local authority, there you are getting people pay their council tax, expect a service, and there's me providing a service.